I thought of this idea. I'm being serious. I thought of this idea when I was driving to the house because I was thinking of a lot of ideas to do for this, you know, for this YouTube video. And I thought of this motivational video um, that I thought I should give my opinion and my thoughts on. All right. So it's basically about uh, a lot of people quitting on their goals and their, and their dreams and stuff. So one of the stories I wanted to talk about was because, you know, I'm 25 years old. I've known a lot of people, kids my age or adults my age, whatever, that have dream, dreamt of a lot of things back in the day and they haven't fulfilled their dreams. I've talked to my past friends like, like, hey, what you doing? You know, how you doing? Stuff like that. And they always say, good, good, but I'm not doing what I want to do. I'm like, what do you want to do? I'm like, oh, you remember what I wanted to do when I was 11, 12 years old back in high school? I still want to do that. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, why haven't you done it? Oh, you know, I have no support. I got no money. My parents this, my parents that. My girl this, my girl that. Or my boyfriend this, my boyfriend that, right? So, I, you know, not to be, you know, mean to the motor, but I'm like, those are excuses, you know? Like, you can't not chase your dreams for an excuse, you know? Give me, I had a baby at 21. Mm -hmm. Give me my friends, those same friends that couldn't chase their goals, they doubted me thinking, oh, this guy is 21 years old having a kid right now. He's too young, he doesn't even, he doesn't even have a degree. There's people from my family that thought the same thing, mm -hmm. you know? And I've, I'm 25 now. I feel like I proved all those people wrong. You know, because I have my own place to live. I live with my girlfriend. I have a daughter and my daughter's running around and driving us crazy, but she's still there, you know? Mm -hmm. And everybody's always asking me, how do you do it? How did you do it? It's just, I had a goal in mind, you get me? And, I, and I still, I'm still chasing my goal. Like, since I was a kid, what was the, the, one of the main things I always wanted to do? Change the world, remember? I, to this day, I still want to change the world. So I feel like me, maybe the video sometimes, that, what I'm trying to say doesn't portray the me <clears throat> portray the message completely. But I feel like every video I do and that I post on YouTube or whatever is connecting to one more person and one more person. Give me like that's that's what the idea came out. If I could explain to these people, to the viewers <clears throat> that are watching the video tonight give up on their dreams and just follow your dreams and just keep going and don't let it doesn't matter if you have your friends or your family people that are always doubting you or upset with you just keep going you know because people are gonna hate haters gonna hate and you're always gonna have a lot of people holding you back you know like the Gerber baby you get me but you can't let nothing hold you back you get me? I had a kid at 21 at the time I, had, I was getting paid nine dollars an hour you get me my girl wasn't working for like four months and people ask me all the time how the heck did i do it i did it you know it, it just plain and simple i just did it i didn't make no excuses about it. it there was a point where i had two jobs and i did it me and my girl we were <clears throat> me and my girl we lived in our apartment with no furniture no tv no nothing all we paid for for it was light and that's to make sure the ac was working for the baby we had no bed the, the only person had a comfortable place to sleep was the baby. She had a crib and we didn't even buy the crib. We got the crib as a gift. We got the crib as a gift. So my daughter slept good for like three, four months in her crib. And me and my girl, we slept on the floor we just with two sheets and we were on the floor with pillows. That's how we slept for three, four months. Nobody knew about it. Why? Because me and my girl, like we're not prideful. It's just we don't want to feel pity from people. Why? Right? Because all these people doubted us and we didn't want to prove them right. You get me? So now that me and her are excelling expectations, I feel like we're our perfect example of continue to chase your dreams and continue to set your goals. <clears throat> there are people that have little minor goals, you know, that have little minor goals and they can't even complete their, those small goals because they have all these excuses. You know, I, I have a really big goal and that's to change the world. And I'm not gonna be able to change the world if I keep these little small excuses from stopping me, you know? I wanna set an example for my daughter. I wanna be, you know, an entrepreneur, new business owner, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. And I'm not gonna be able to accomplish those things if little, little excuses are stopping me from completing my race. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's, that's basically the gist of it because if, if 
if like the simplest opinions and critiques from people you only see once a year are holding you back, then I don't know what to tell you. Like people's opinions shouldn't be holding you back. You should always try to like things happen, you know, things happen. Things are gonna slow you down no matter what. But don't let the simple things completely stop you from achieving your goals. Let it maybe slow you down a little bit, but not completely put you at a standstill. You know what I mean? Like don't, if you have the dreams to be a firefighter, don't stop when you're halfway through the fire academy. Just because I said, oh man, you're not strong enough, oh, you're not fast enough to this. You know what I mean? Just keep going. Why is my opinion gonna affect you? You know what I mean? Like, especially, so, and, and the thing is, young, especially for young kids, <clears throat> especially for young kids, because they're people that, people might just still living with their parents, you know? And everything the parents say goes. So number one, first off, if you're my age and you still have your parents, get out of your parents' house and just try to do you first. Try to find yourself and try to see what's best for you. And that's basically the, the gist of it because it's been frustrating to see people my age still not finishing their goals, finishing their dreams. And you're, if you're 25, 24, and <clears throat> if you're 25, 24, maybe you still might not know what's your real purpose or what's your goal you're trying to complete, but you should have an idea, or at least you should be trying to try different things out to know what to do and what not to do, what you're good at, what you're not good at. You get me, I'm 25 and I know a million things I'm not good at. Why? Because I've tried a million things. You get me, so that, that's basically the gist of it, because if, if a person like me, coming from a broken home, Having a kid at a young age could accomplish what I've accomplished at such a young age could do it. Anybody could do it. You get me that? Like that's why I tell you and my other sister all the time. Like, don't let your parents' opinions affect you as much as they should be affecting you. Like, yeah, your peoples are your peoples, but always do you. Don't worry about about criticism or nothing like that. Just focus on 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 your end goal. Mm -hmm. You get me? If you want to finish school, finish school. If you don't think school's for you, school's not for you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm always be honest with you and to, to everybody I talk to because there are times where they're asking for opinions and sometimes they don't like what they hear, but sometimes they have to hear what they don't like because that's the truth. People don't like to hear the truth sometimes. And there, there's a, you know, there, there are people I talk to all the time like, hey, I love you, I care about you, but you're messing up. You're not doing this right. Like, in my opinion, you got to do it, you know, a little bit better because you're letting these excuses and these things stop you from achieving your goals. And so, just the whole idea of the video is to tell people, don't quit. You know, don't quit and just keep going and just, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a frustrating road. But trust me, if you grind, let's say for 10 years, you hustle for 10 years hard every day, the next 30 years, you're going to be living you know, more relaxed, you'll be cool. Yeah. So just don't quit, you know? Just keep chasing your dreams and just keep going until you accomplish it. You know, JK Rowling didn't accomplish her goal until she was like, what, 40, 40? Something like that, 40, 50? You get me? Michael Jordan, he got cut from his high school varsity team. If Michael Jordan would have stopped playing basketball when he got cut the first time, we would have never had the, the, the NBA being so public the way it is now, you get me? So there are people that they're not supposed to be in the position they are in, but they're in the position because they had the work ethic and they had the dream to chase it and they kept chasing. You know what I mean? So just work hard and achieve your dreams, you know? Mm -hmm.